Hello, hello. Good evening, class. How are you guys? Welcome. Hello. Hi, Miss. Hello, lady. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Awesome. Fine. Excellent. Julio, how's it going? I'm fine. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start in a moment. And tell me, how was your weekend? How was your weekend, guys? Did you rest? How was it? Did you sleep a lot? So, so? I work. You uh, work? Saturday, uh, Sunday. Wow. Did you work the whole day? Yeah. Just part time? Just no, uh, yeah. Uh, I work um a nine to um four thirty. Wow. Okay. From nine a.m. to four p.m. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. You work a lot. So when is your day off? When is your day off? Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you only have one day <laughs> off? Just one day off? Um, I go to the Apollo. Eat pescaditas, cejotes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and how many days off do you have? One or two? Just one day or two days off? One day, only day. one day. Wow, you work a lot. Yeah, very hard. Mm -hmm. uh, next, uh, I work hours um, off uh, to date. Mm -hmm. uh, very hard, uh, five day, 10 hours. 10 hours daily, yeah. Oh, that's really hard. Yeah, I off uh, to today mm -hmm. it's good. so you, the office just one day in, uh, well but that's good you work out with a different job i have so so you're going to rest a little bit more and you teacher and not hear you guys hello hello you how are you oscar I'm fine very good okay so you're always happy so i think the exercise help help you a lot Right. Did you exercise today? Mm, yesterday. Mm, okay. So the whole day or just an hour? Yes, I, uh, and rest. Today is an um, extensive ex 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 okay. exercise yesterday. Mm -hmm. how, how many hours? The whole day or just some hours? Three, three hours. Three hours. So three how hours. How often do you do this? Daily or just uh, during the weekend? I just, I just um, exercise with, uh, uh, many places in the pictures. Look the mountain, love mountain. Uh -huh, so you, you mentioned that you go uh, cycling, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a... Uh, uh, Therapeutic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to be like you. <laughs> well, you know, I, I used to, <laughs> I used to do it, but not anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm thinking about it. <laughs> no, you know, it's healthy. It's healthy. healthy. So I think that we all need to do it, right? Okay, so just give me a second. I'm going to share my screen. So I'm still having a problem with this. Um, I'm still having a problem with this uh, internet connection and I don't know why. Because I'm paying. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the... Uh, the... Yeah. Uh, well, probably. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. windy. Mm -hmm. It's windy, yeah. Yo por eso me cambié. 
exchange. Uh, Ego, bye bye. Okay, so which is the company that you were uh, using? The new company is uh, in La Solución and Optical Fiber. Mm. Very good, very, very good uh, internet. It's mm. best, it's best, uh, Antigo, it's best, and Claro. Very good, excellent. Okay, so I think I need to check that. But I got the contract this year. Okay, so just let me share with you the screen and we're going to start, okay? Sure. You have, you have the, the homework number 19. Number 19. Ah, I, we're going to check that today. So we're starting the topic today. So just, mm -hmm. so we're gonna check that in, in this class, okay? Yeah. I think that you were done. Yeah, I check it, but I wasn't able to answer. Uh, but um, yeah, sorry for that. But we're going to cover that topic today, and we're going to discuss that today. Mm -hmm. So we can. Uh, we're gonna have some time in order to do these exercises. So homework nineteen, right? So I know you have questions about it. Okay. So let's start. So let's see who is here. Veronica Hernandez, Carlos Miguel, Clelia, Yana, Elena, Fernando, uh, okay, Julio, Lady, Nilton, Oscar, and Rosa. Welcome, guys. So we're going to start. Aquí estoy, teacher. Solo voy a llegar a la casa porque voy en el camino, en el carro. Okay. Thank you. So, I'm just let me correct something. So, it's session 19. Okay. Teacher, here, uh, only question. Mm -hmm. Now, it's finished class or tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. So, I made a mistake okay. with the number. <laughs> Okay, so let me okay. uh, let me share that. Okay, so here we have our agenda for today, and uh, well, we have so many activities. We're going to start with our warming up activities and previous knowledge. Uh, in this class, we're going to talk about the homework that you, you were asking about. It was about a conditional, some conditional sentences. So basically, it's a zero conditional. We're going to have some interactive exercises, examples. We have speaking practice. And so let's start with the warming up. Um, I'm going to keep my camera off uh, since I'm having uh, problems with the audio. So there are some problems with the internet or wireless. I don't know what. I cannot hear you when I turn on my camera. Okay, uh, well, we're going to work together. We're going to select the right gerund so as to complete the exercises given, and we're going to participate actively as always, right? So you're very active. Okay, so just let me open that. And let's see, what do we have? Let's check that. So let me know if you can see my new screen, the um, website, can you see it? Yes, yeah, see the chart here. It's chart here. The center side. Yes. Okay, so let's give it uh, some seconds. Okay. So I think you're ready for number five, right? <laughs> okay, so look at this. We have uh, this exercise and we have to complete the um, paragraph, okay? So we have some vocabulary over here on your right, uh, I mean, left side, before, thinking, looking, in, 
podcasting, recording, and getting. So we're going to complete these spaces. We're going to fill in these blanks. So Thank you. Can... Ah, okay, excellent. Veronica, awesome. Okay, so I'm thinking, so this is what we have to do. I'm thinking about what, guys? Looking. About looking at the new device. New device. Mm. Mm -hmm. Read it again, read it again. I'm thinking about what? Podcasting. Podcasting, so what's the meaning for podcasting? Podcasting, mm -hmm. okay. About getting a new device. Getting, right, so I'm thinking getting. about getting. Getting, getting a new device. But what? Looking. Doing for But before. But, but before. Mm -hmm. before. Doing so, what? I have to consider what I am looking, looking, looking for. Excellent, looking for. Recording. 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 Postcasting. Okay, so let's check it. Okay, awesome. We're good. Very nice. Okay, so now let's read it together. And uh, later on, I'm going to ask some of you um, to read it. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a new device. But before doing so, I have to consider what I'm looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing them. I'm also interested in podcasting, so I think that I'm, I'm fun. X, Y would work well for me. Let's see. Again, I'm thinking about getting a new device, but before doing so, I have to consider what I'm looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing them. I'm also interested in podcasting, so I think that I'm fun. A fun. X, Y will work well for me. Okay, so there is a mistake here, okay? So just remember that we have uh, just the article A, right? A phone, mm -hmm. a phone, a phone or a, a phone, phone. Mm -hmm. no N. Okay, let's see, somebody who wants to try reading, um, let's see, volunteer. Okay, my friend Oscar, go ahead. You're the first one. Read it, read it. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about getting a new device, but before doing, doing so, I have to consider what time, what I'm looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing. Then mm -hmm. I have all interesting. In podcasting, so it's things that and on XJ would work well for me. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, the next one, Veronica. Go ahead, Veronica. Burgos. You, you, Veronica Burgos. Hey. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a new device, but before doing so, I have to consider like, what I am looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing them. I also interested in podcasting. So I think that a phone X, Y will work well for me. Mm -hmm. Will work well for me. Okay. Awesome, Veronica. Thank you, Oscar, as well. And let's see. Uh, Marlene, go ahead, Marlene. Read it, please, for us. Okay. I'm thinking about getting a new device, but before doing so, I have to consider what I am looking for. I enjoy recording videos and edit, editing. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Editing. Editing them. I'm also interested in podcasting, so I think that a phone 
X, Y will work well for me. Okay, thank you, Marlene. Uh, Veronica Hernandez, can you participate right now? Could you? Okay. One, two, no, she's not here. Uh, Miguel, go ahead, Miguel. Ah, Miguel me dijo que estaba viviendo, okay. Uh, let's see, uh, Clelia, go ahead, Clelia. Could you read it, please? Hello, hello, Clelia. Boy, boy. Okay. I'm thinking about pairing a new device, but before time, so I have to consider what I'm looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing and editing link. I also interested in podcasting. So I think that um home XY will work well for me. Okay, thank okay. you so much, Clelia. Let's see. Uh, Diana. Oh, she's a listener. Uh, Fernando, you hear Fernando? Yes, miss. Okay, could you read it, please? I am thinking about getting a new DVD, but before doing so, I have to consider that I am looking for, I enjoy recording videos and ed editing them. I am always interested in pro podcasting, so I think that and from X, J, J, will work well for me. Okay, thank you. So let's check some words that, uh, let me mark that. I guess I'm going to draw a circle over here. Okay. Videos, videos, editing, editing, enjoy, it's something like a E, enjoy, 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 videos and editing. Okay, would, don't forget that, would, 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 interested, interested, interested. and this one is consider, consider, Still. okay, so let's check it again, consider, enjoy, enjoy, it's it, enjoy, videos, 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 videos. editing, Interested, interested, would, would. Okay, so let's read it once more and then we continue with somebody else. I'm thinking about getting a new device, device. But before Fine. doing so, I have to consider what I'm looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing them. I'm also, um, also interested in podcasting. So I think that a phone X, Y would work well for me. Okay, let's see. Um, Nilton, go ahead, Nilton. Read it, please. Okay. I am thinking about get, getting a new device. But before doing so, I have to consider what I am looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing dance. I am also interested in podcasting. So I did that an iPhone X yeah, will work well for me. Okay. Thank you, Nelton. Let's see, lady. Yeah, actually, I think they wanted to add iPhone here, right? But <laughs> they just write that one. Let's see, lady, go ahead. I'm thinking about getting a new device, but before doing so, I have to consider what I'm looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing them, and also interested in post podcasting. So I think that an um, iPhone XY will work well for me. Okay, thank you, lady. Let's see, um, Rafael, go ahead, Rafael. I 
activate your microphone. It's mute. Uh -huh. Lulu, Rafael, your turn. Go ahead. We're oh, happy with Rafael. Let me check. Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Rafael. Read it, please. Excuse me. Sorry. No worries. Okay. <laughs> Pero ahorita, ahorita dice la pausa. Ahí. Um, <clears throat> I think think about getting a new device but before doing so i have to consider what i'm looking for i enjoy recording videos and edit edit editing editing down editing thing thing i am also interested in podcasting and so i think that iphone xj will work Work, work well for me. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Rafael. Uh, Rosa, could you help us, please? Uh, Rosa? Okay. Mm. I'm thinking about getting a new device, but before doing so, I have to consider what I'm looking for. I enjoy recording videos and editing them i'm also interested in podcasting so i think that any phone x y will work well for me okay thank you guys so just let's finish it once more and let's read it together okay i'm thinking about getting a new device but before doing so, I have to consider what I'm looking for. I enjoy re enjoy recording videos and editing them. I'm also interested in podcasting. So I think that an iPhone X, Y would work well for me. Okay, thank you so much, guys. So let's continue with our next activity. And okay, so let me, let me close this. So just hold your horses and then we continue, okay? Just let me close this. Okay, awesome. So right now we're going to complete the following uh, exercises with uh, the correct uh, gerund. So we just have to match uh, these sentences and fill in these spaces with the um, information that we have over here, the gerunds, right? Number one, uh, okay, it says skin, skin, skin. We have some verbs like, let me check, uh, okay. See, okay, so you know what a taxi is, right? So do you know that this is a verb? A taxi is a verb as well, okay. And the ger uh, the participle gerund or ing form for taxi is a taxi. Okay, so this action is related to airplanes. So when the airplane goes through the, let's say the, the road in the airport. Es la acción de que el avión va sobre la pista, sobre la pista de, del aeropuerto. So that's taxing. So this verb is just an, uh, a normal verb like the other ones that you just add ing. Mm -hmm. So because you were asking me on Friday, so what happened with that verb? Is there any rule to this uh, related to this verb? No, there is not any rule. Uh, basically, we have some few cases like, like ski or taxi that end in I and you just add ing. That's it. That's it, right? So there is no any rule. Okay. Uh, living, cheating. So what's the meaning for cheating? Do you remember cheating? Yes. What was that? Cheating. Come on, guys, look for that information. I know you're not. So what's cheating? What's cheating here? A lady, do you remember? Oscar, Veronica, cheating, what's that? Trampa. Trampa. Okay, so are you cheating on someone? <laughs> okay, traveling. 
doing, getting, playing, eating, selling, and swimming. Okay, so let's try. I think that you're ready for this. Exercise number one. So what is the correct, so what's the gerund that we need in here? Living. I enjoy it. What? Skin, living, cheating. In France, when living. I was a kid. Living. Living, okay. Number two. Who wants to do uh, number two? Veronica Fernandez? The job uh, involves Anna, what do you think? The job involves any idea? Um, traveling. Traveling. Uh, traveling to Japan once a month. Okay, number three. They go. Green. Swimming? Swimming. Swimming every winter? Do you go swimming every winter? Swimming. <laughs> Yes, swimming, what do you think? Let's see, um, Veronica Burgos, tell us. So what do you think about it? They go? What happened with Veronica? Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, help us with this one. Clelia, what do you think about it? Number three, they go skiing, cheating, doing, getting, playing, eating, selling, or swimming every winter. I can't. Skiing. Skiing. Yeah. Yeah. Skiing. Skiing. Okay, the next one, look at this one. The doctor recommended more exercise outside. Doing. Doing, uh -huh. doing more exercise. Okay, you should avoid eating. 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 Okay. I don't like when it's dark outside. Eating. Get it. Okay. Please consider S selling. Selling. Mm -hmm. Selling your bike if you need money. Okay. The whale enjoyed swimming. Enjoy. Uh -huh. Swimming. Swimming. Swimming through the waves. Okay. I'm not very good at playing. Playing. Playing, playing the guitar. Okay. And cheating. Okay. So let's check it. Awesome. So now let's continue. So you got a 10. So I think that you uh, got a 10 in this activity. So it was on Friday, right? So if you finish, I think that you got a 10, right? Okay, so let's go back, back again. Okay, so this is our class objective. So can you sit? Tell me, say yes, I can sit. Can you sit, guys? Class objective is projecting now. Is it projecting now? Yes, it is. Awesome, thank you, Marlene. Um, let's see, uh, Oscar, could you read this class objective for today's class? Okay. Participants will be able to complete some set statements individually in Word and using zero conditions. Okay, able, 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 able. Participants will be able to complete some statements. Okay. So now let's see, we have a previous knowledge and we have a speaking practice. We're going to listen uh, the following conversation and we're going to practice. 
uh, that we have Hugo and Milton. So let's read. Uh, can you see the last sentence? I'm concerned. So can you see it? It's clear. Yes. Okay. Yes, Thank, you. Thank you, Oscar. So we have the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. So what is target? What is target? It is. And what's the meaning for increasing? Julio, meta. la meta, right? So that's the goal, okay. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials. So we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that but I know that we can pay with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but well, let's try it out. Okay, again, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure, first, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials. So we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. But I know, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay, let's see. Um, anybody volunteer? I need one volunteer. See anybody? Raise your hands. Yo, miss. Okay, go ahead, uh, Fernando. Okay, so you're going to be um Milton. I'm going to start. Okay. Huh? You're Milton. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. The sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about, about what do, to do? Okay. Do you have any idea about what to do? Do you have any idea about what to do? Remember that you have to increase your intonation. Do you have any idea about what to do? Okay. Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale. Sale. Continue, Milton. Nice. That's a good idea. <laughs> also, I'm interested in buy, buy, buying, buy, buying, buying raw okay. materials so we save more money. Okay. Again, that's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials. Raw, raw materials, raw materials, raw. So we save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that. But I know, I said, but I know, or so, but I know, but I know that we can pay with the incomes we get. So, by the way, guys, question what is an income? What is an income? Um, I am conceived con about asking for money, but let's. Try uh ingressos. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Yeah, incomes. Okay, thank you, lady. And the outcomes. Egresos. Egresos. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you, ladies. Um, okay, let's see. I'll need another volunteer. Thank you so much, Fernando. Somebody else. Okay, let's see. Rosa. Okay, Rosa. We continue. Okay, Rosa. Uh, um, me. Oh. Uh-huh. 
start, please. The souls were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. If I analyze and, and keep him track on the incomes at outcomes have to be mandatory on each soul. Okay, that's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we can save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I but I know that we can pay it with uh, the income we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, thank you so much, Rosa. Let's see, uh, Veronica and Lady. Go ahead, ladies, please. Um, Veronica. Mm -hmm. Okay, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, is Christing our sales is our target this month. The lady, continue. Do you have any idea, idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the income and out outcomes, how to be mandatory on each sale. That is a good idea. Also, uh, and in buying raw materials, so we save more money. Mm -hmm. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that but I know that we can pay it with the income we get. I'm concerned about asking for me, but let's try it out. Okay, thank you, ladies. So let's read it again and let's do it together, okay? The sales, sales. The We're sales. not so good this month. Sales, sales. sales. Therefore, sales. therefore, therefore, Mm -hmm. Por lo tanto, therefore, increasing our sales, sales, so it can be our, our, our this can be our, our sales. Our, our sales. Mm -hmm. So that depends. Our, our, some, some people say our, some people say our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory, mandatory on each sale. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we can save more money, save more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan, loan for that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned, concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Let's see, um, Oscar, okay, Oscar and Blanca. Start, a you start, if Oscar? That sales we were not, not uh, good this month. There be, there, therefore, increasing our sales is your target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure, first analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes how to be mandatory on each sales. That's that's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in budging 
raw materials, so we save more money. Our team prefer getting a bulk loan. For that, but I know that we can say in which an income get uh, we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Okay, thank you so much, Blanca and Oscar. And let's see, Julio, please. Julio and um, anybody else? Okay, Nilton. Okay, quite a They say we're not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure, this analysis and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory of each cell. That's a good idea. Also, I am interested in building raw materials so we have more money. However, I prefer getting a bank low for that, but I know that we can play it with the incomes we get. I am concerned about asking for money, but let's treat it out. Okay, thank you, boys. Let's uh, repeat it once more. Okay, the sales were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our sales, increasing, increasing our sales. So you can say our, our, or our, our. So you can uh, decide which one are you going to use something like this r or something like uh, well let's say our our sales our sales is our target this month or you well if you prefer this one this is here r r the sales were not so good this month therefore increasing our sales is our target this month or you can say something like our okay and uh, do you have any idea about what to do do you have an idea about what to do sure first analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on each sale that's a good idea also i'm interested in buying raw materials so we say more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan, loan for that. But I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. Okay. I'm concerned, D, I'm concerned, I'm concerned. Okay, I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Try it out, try it out, try it out. So repeat it, try it out. But let's try it out, yes, try it out, okay? So let's continue, guys. Uh, we have some questions. We have to uh, look for some specific information. What is the objective that this month? So what is the objective? Question number one, what is the objective? For the month. Increasing, increasing our sales. Mm -hmm. Increasing our sales. Okay. So I'll say our. You can say our. Incremental ventas. Increasing. Look at this. Our sales. sales. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say our, our uh, sales, right? <laughs> it sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, what are some steps they want to follow? So what are the steps that they want to follow? Analyzing and keeping track of the income and outcomes. 
Analyzing and keeping track. Track. Of what? All the income and outcomes. Income and All the outcomes. incomes and outcomes. Okay. And the next question is, what is one of them uh, worried about? So, well, a, mm -hmm. Somebody is worried. So who is worried? Con preocupaciones. Mm -hmm. Who is worried about, about it? Look at the question. What is one? Um, the raw materials. Buying the raw materials. Okay, I'm assuming buying raw materials. So we save more money. Mm. Mm, Milton. We have to save more money. Mm -hmm. So he's worried about what? Raw materials. Asking for money. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Asking for money. He's concerned. He's worried, right? Mm -hmm. He's worried about asking for money. So Milton. No, Milton. Milton. Milton is worried. Okay. For money. About asking uh, yeah, for money. So let's continue. We have some other exercises over here. Look at these. Uh, complete the conversation with the German forms of the verse, then compare with the opponent. Um, okay, uh, let's see. I want you to help me with these exercises. We're going to do two. Uh, number one. Number one, read the verbs that we have over here. We have ask, give, pay, have, provide, get, hire, and sell. Do we start? Let's see. Do we start? Remember that we have to uh, modify. Yes. Uh huh. Get, getting. Getting to Christmas getting. weeks off. Weeks off. Okay, so let's try it. I prefer. Ask, Hi. given, uh -huh. look given. at the, I read the having. having, having them to wear one more week plus bonus. Sales. Having, 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 Blanca, having, yes, okay. having, okay, number two. Selling. Are you interested in selling new ideas for products? Okay, so check it again. Press T in. Asking, giving, paying, providing, hiring, and selling. Oscar, Julio, Rafael, what do you think, guys? Yes, I am. Do you have? I'm interested in pro providing new idea for products. Okay, providing. Yes, I am. Do you have? I love. I love oh, so selling some. Mm. Mm -hmm. Selling. You, you. Selling. You sure? Yes, sure. Give, give. Paying some. Mm -hmm. 
You have a love given some. Okay, so look at this. I want you to so, check these uh, four sentences, uh, questions and answers back again. So I'm going to assign you to work with a classmate and I'm going to give you, uh, let's say three minutes. Would be this enough, three to five minutes? Yes. So I want you to work with a classmate and try to uh, look for the, read the questions again and try to find out what is the right uh, verb that you need to include, okay? So we come back in, uh, let's see, three to four minutes, is that okay? Yes? Okay, so get a screenshot. Take a screenshot and try to complete that. So check uh, the sentences and the questions back again, okay? Marlene recibió la invitación. Me avisa. Rafael. Give, ah. give, give. No, sería pay, pagar. Ah, uh -huh, pay. Pay salaries to employees is more priority. Entonces, pay. Uh -huh. Pay. Pero no sé, mira que escriba. Vamos a quedarme que ver. Ah, sí, pero es que. Mm, déjame ver cómo lo hago. Creo que voy a hacer más grande esto. Deja de ver márgenes estrecho para que se vea más grande. <ríe> se trabó. <ríe> no responde. Ok. Yo no puedo compartir. Yo porque todavía ando afuera. Si no veámoslo así en WhatsApp, no hay problema, yo porque todavía ando un poquito lejos. ¿Ah? Pero si, si no veamos en WhatsApp. Ah, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Eh, eh. La logra ver. 
Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Estoy viendo la pantalla. Bye. Ok, dice, do we start head, sería creo yo, to Christmas week off. Creo que como más, uh, más no le puedo Vamos a copiar ¿Cómo? la respuesta. Vamos a copiar la respuesta para que no pueda escribirle encima nada. De... Las puedes copiar en una en, en este si es que para, para escribirla encima tenías que tener el, el, el PDF. Ajá, pero no la tengo. Vale. Tres, cuatro. Ya lo tengo, pero no. ¿Puedo proyectar? Sí, ya lo tengo, pero qué página. Ahorita. Espérate, Max. Ok. Aquí está. Ya lo hay. Vale. Démosle, pues. Ok. Primero se dirige a... Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Así. Luego... Luego sería... No, no, la primera, la primera es este, es getting. La segunda. Esa, esa, esa es la que va al final. Are you worried about asking the bank for new loan? Ahí, yes. Ok. Y luego, no really, I'm more concerned about, about uh, selling the new products to pay the employees. Okay, and number three, payings. Mm -hmm. Paying. Payings, uh -huh. Pay, paying salaries. Employee each month is our priority. I totally agree with the beside hiring. Hiring new workers has to be another one. Mm -hmm. Hiring. Hello, are you interesting in? Are you interested in providing? Uh -huh. New ideas. Yes, I am. Do you? Yes, I am. Do you have? I love song. I love giving song. Giving song. Giving. Okay. Number one. Do we start getting? Yeah, okay, hello guys. So check again number one and two. So read the context, read the context back again. Do we start? And uh -huh, look at the question and look at the answer. Do we start getting to Christmas weeks off or what? I prefer then to work one more week plus bonus. So it would be Number one, the question will be getting or giving? Mm -hmm. I prefer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I prefer. Uh... I prefer mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Read the question. Giving, right? Mm -hmm. Giving. Giving. And look at the answer. I prefer giving the work one more. Because I love having. Okay. Listen, listen. Look at this. The question says, do you? And let's see. Question says, um, I cannot see the question. 
Ah, no puede ver la pregunta la teacher. Eh, mueva el cursor, eh, por favor, compañero Carlos, Miguel. Thank you. Ok, teacher. Do we start getting to Christmas weeks off? I prefer... Ah, no, yo creo que getting. ya lo entendí. Start, start, eh, start giving, start giving to Christmas weeks off. Mm -hmm. I prefer getting, entonces. Ok, I prefer paying. Paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. So we're talking about uh, the money they're going to receive for uh, working. Okay. Uh -huh. After some days, I prefer getting a pound of loan. I prefer, do we start giving them to, uh, let's see, to Christmas weeks off? Hey. I prefer paying them to work one more week plus bonus. So you pay. Are, claro. you... Are you interested in private in pay? Entonces en la número tres estamos mal porque dice ahí que suggest high quality was a target. Entonces ahí sería having. Uh, having, yes, having. Oh, no, let's see. Number two, check number two. Let's see. Let's check number, number two. two. Exercise two. Exercise two. Are you providing? Are you interested in providing a new idea for pro? Yes, I am. Do you have? I love. Sería having. Yes, I love having. Providing salaries. Having two. Number two. Are you interested in having new ideas for products? Well, actually, I would say giving as well, right? Interested in mm -hmm. well, I'm providing mm -hmm. providing, yeah, for work. By providing salaries to employees each month is employed. Are you interested in having new DCF for Pearl? Yes, I am. Do you have? I love give some. Well, salary to employees each month is our period. I totally agree with that. Besides, hiring new workers has to the end. Let's see. Uh, that's number three, right? Providing and hiring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Awesome, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you okay, so just let me check one more, and then we go back. One more week. A bonus? A bonus. I'm interested in providing new ideas for products. Yes, I am. Do you have? I love giving some. Hello, hello. Check number one. Do we start? Um, let's see. Do we start? Number one is. So read the question. Read the question. Do we start giving? Right, giving. So you're going to give something. No, get. Mm -hmm. Do we start giving to Christmas weeks so, off to the employees? Uh huh. So giving. So you're not getting that, so you're giving, uh-huh. I prefer. A kid giving. Mm -hmm. I prefer, actually, um, it would be paying, paying. So you're going to pay then to work one more week plus a bonus. So giving and paying. Como borro esto? Ah, um, tiene que... Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> bueno, no sé dónde sale. <laughs> Está bien. Mira, a veces me pasa así, yo pregunto y es como yo solita me da la respuesta. <laughs> Giving. Mm -hmm. Giving. Mm -hmm. Ok. I prefer. 
I, I prepare, uh -huh. pain. Pain. Mm -hmm, because you're going to pay that oh. from the bonus. Pain. Pain. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Ok, entonces esta está mal. So we need to check the second one. Having, let's see. Are you interested in, wow, well, actually, I will modify that. Up. You can say having or providing. Yeah, that will be okay. Or having, are you interested in having any ideas for products? Yes, I am. Do you have a... Do you have, I love. Um, getting some. So you're getting some. Get it. So actually mm. we'll be having and getting. Are you interested in having uh, any idea, any ideas for the product? Yes, I am. Do you have? I love getting some, getting some ideas, right? So uh, number two, provide instead of providing, it could also work having two. Number Are you having? Two, the question, the question, providing. And providing, uh, I could also choose a having two, having. For the question, are you interested in having? Mm -hmm. Oh, having. Mm -hmm. Provide aquí. Providing. Number three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Providing and hiring. That's okay. Providing and hiring. What do you have? Providing and hiring. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, and the last one is okay. Asking and selling. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Yeah, we, we had to read that uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces, tomamos la captura o ya no? Yes, and send it. Send it to the group. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Blanca puede tomar la captura. Hello guys, welcome back. So it took more than I expected. Let's see, guys. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Welcome. Okay, guys. So let's try to complete the exercise. I once, uh, yeah, once more. Look at this. Do we start? So what do you have for this one? Do you check the sentences? Do you read the sentences and the context? Do we start two Christmas weeks off? I prefer them to work one more week plus the bonus. The gecko wants to participate. <laughs> Guys, uh, what do you have for number one? Question one. Getting. You sure check the answer. Check the answer. I prefer then to work one more week plus a bonus. Having. Mm -hmm. Veronica, what do you have? Do we start? 
Uh, number uh, one, letter A, do we start getting? Getting. Yes. Mm -hmm. I prefer having. Having them to work. Let's see, somebody else who has a different answer. I don't understand. Ah, read the question and read the answer. Do we start? Actually, the exercise was made this way, but it could, it could also work with another verb. Teacher, but excuse me, excuse me. I have in the letter B paying. Paying. Okay. Yes, paying. Then to work one more week plus a bonus paying. Mm -hmm. And for letter A, do we start? Uh, do we start getting? Giving. Giving. Giving the Christmas. Giving. Mm -hmm. Give it. That's right, right? So we have to read the uh, sentences uh, once more, right? So do we start giving two Christmas weeks off? I prefer paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. Okay, number two. Are you interested in? Selling new ideas for products. In having, having new ideas. Having. Having. Okay. Having new ideas for products. Okay. Yes, I am. Do you have? Yes, do you have? Do you have some ideas? I love. I love. Getting some. Getting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love getting some. Number three, what do you have, guys? Uh, Oscar? A? Pagin. Pagin salary to employees each month is our priority. Priority? Priority? Okay. I totally agree with that. Besides, Okay, so it could work. It could work. But let's see who has a different answer. But it could also work. Okay, puede funcionar. Puede funcionar. Pero veamos el contexto. Let's see who has a different answer. Providing. Providing. Providing salaries to employees each month is our priority. Mm -hmm. Pri priority. 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 It's our priority. Okay, I totally agree. With that, besides hiring new workers. Mm -hmm. Besides hiring new workers, has to be another one, right? Okay, number four. Are you worried about? Asking. In the pound for new law. Of course, right? Not really. Killing. I'm more concerned about selling. 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 Okay. Nice. So remember that we have to read the sentences twice and the questions. But um, well, it could also work with this one, right? So paying salaries to employees each month, uh, each month is our priority. I totally agree with that. Besides, hiring a worker has to be another one. So I accept this one. So paying could, be, could work. Okay, so let's continue. We have some more uh, exercises. And look at this. We have some vocabulary related to uh, this topic. We're going to uh, talk about uh, some balance shit and we have some vocabulary. Uh, I got three definitions for you. Current assets, um, current liabilities, and shareholder. So you have this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so what I want you to do is to look for the following definitions. So you have cash and equivalents, and uh, well, 
This is not necessary, just the translation if you want it. Accounts payable, so you got one, two, three, uh, four, and five. Okay, so let's read the first three definitions. Current sets. All the sets of a company. Uh, could you read it please, Julio? Current assets. All the oh. assets of company that are expected to be conven conveniently. So, consumer use or exhausted through a standard business operation within orient years. Mm -hmm. One year, one year. Okay. One. So do you remember the meaning for assets? Activos circulantes. Activos, Remote. awesome. Mm -hmm. Los activos, so current assets. So all the assets of a company that are expected to be conveniently sold, right? Consumed, used, or exhausted through standard business operation within one year. Okay, clear. Number two, so we have current liabilities. Current liabilities. Could you read it please, um, Oscar, the short term? The short term obligation that are expected to be paying within one year such such as account payable. Mm -hmm. payable. Payable? Yeah, payable. Okay. Payable. <laughs> payable. Okay. So what are the current liabilities? So what are the liabilities? So we have assets. So liabilities, the opposite. The opposite for assets. No. Uh -huh. Los pasivos. Okay. So we have current liabilities. So we have, uh, this is the short term obligations that are expected to be paid within one year, such as accounts, right? And we have shareholder or stockholders equity, equity. So this is the same. So we have shareholder or stockholder uh, for American, well, American people. Um, could you read it please, uh, lady, the company's net worth? A company. Worth. Worth or the total dollar amount that will be returned to its shareholders if the company is liquidated after all debts are paid off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the shareholder ideas about this stockholder equity or shareholder? Socio. The socios. Okay. So the company's net worth, right? Or the total, total, total dollar amount that would be returned to mm. shareholders. So the money that is going to be given to the stockholders, right? Okay, nice. So right now I want you to investigate and give me a short definition for these terms, cash and equivalents, total current assets, accounts payable, total current liabilities, common stock and capital surplus. So I want you to do this and save them in a document. Then you send it to uh, the group, right? Or you send it to me. So what do you have to do? Look for these definitions. Yeah, what do I want? A short definition about these terms, okay? So I want you to investigate about that concepts. Okay, uh, any question about the activity? You have to investigate the concept? Mm -hmm. Just a short definition. Only definition. A short definition and the translation, okay? That's it. Okay, you got it. 
I'm going to create the groups. Uh, you're going to work in groups of three. So uh, I think that you can look two on two. I'm going to be faster, okay? Teacher, aquí vamos a leer los, los conceptos que vimos allí en los cuadros o vamos a investigar lo que significa el activo, pasivo y socios. Ok, um, los que vamos a buscar serían los que están en, ahí marcados con la flechita. ¿Cuántas personas hay acá? Tres. Tres. Ajá, se lo pueden dividir. Dos. Dos cada uno. Dos conceptos. Uh -huh. Los que están ahí con las arrows. Mm -hmm. Cash and equivalents, total uh -huh. current assets. Mm -hmm. Yes, that one's. Mm -hmm. Cash and equivalents, the equivalent. Voy a, voy a, voy a. Investigar los primeros dos. Yo lo sé, bueno. Okay. Quedo yo con los últimos. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es eso? Um, refer, refer to the obligation incurred by a company during its operation that remain due and must be paid in the short term. term. Aquí está el concepto. Y lo voy a compartir. Voy a parar de compartir. Ahí en el chat lo puse. Ah, pues. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el otro? Uh, 
total ¿Cómo se sorry, lee eso? sorry compañeros, venía entrando acá a la casa. Este, ¿Hay algo en lo que les pueda ayudar ahorita? Hay, hay que buscar conceptos. Sí, ¿verdad? Los, los, los conceptos. You can divide the, the concepts in, for example, Rafael, you can take two, Oscar, you take two, and Jorge, you take the last two. Mm -hmm. Entonces, los míos es common stock en capital surplus. Sí, está bueno, dale. Ya los tengo. A ver, ya los tenía todos. Vamos a ver. Está por pagar ese contrato. Cuente por pagar. Ok. Quiero ver. A company will be said, refer to the obligation incurred by a company during a separation that's a remind to a move the pay this. Dice. Dice que el total de el total de activos de una empresa es la parte del balance de situación que recoge los bienes, derechos y todos los recursos en general con los que aquella cuenta. Uf. Se los mando. Hola, okay. Entonces. Mis nos hemos dividido. Perfect. Capital supports. Okay. No tiene eh, se me, es que me salí de, se me sacó de la clase entonces no sé qué están ahorita, ahorita haciendo estamos aquí, ahorita invertir en la bolsa vamos ahorita estamos invirtiendo en la bolsa Ethereum <risa> 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 nos está dando Oscar René una clase de Bitcoin dice casi <risa> <risa> No, pero que sí, me aprendí dos cosas hoy. ¿Cómo se dice y qué es? Ah. <risa> este señor es una esponja y yo estoy estudiando técnico en inglés y viene de trabajar. <risa> <risa> y, y, de, y estoy de repente aquí también viendo una bolsa. Hijo de... Ahí está cierto. <risa> en el chat lo voy colocando, por si. Ok. Porfa. Y con Fabio, caso, caso, que bueno. Te curan haces. Haces. Yo también voy a empezar a enviar los niños. Teacher, what pronunciation uh, for, for uh, current levels? Lia de this. Which one? Eh, liabilities. 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 Ya me trabé. Okay, so let me see. Uh, where is that? Liabilities. 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 Sería bueno eso de ponerte una. 
y empezar a pronunciar ayuda a eso. Así nos ponemos. Yeah, it could work. Palabra que anoté ya para quedarme. You know, ya. I did that when I was studying. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I did it because I didn't know how to, well, how to articulate the words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of difficult when we're learning. So you don't know how to make the sounds. So it's kind of harder. So it could help you. But uh, something that is really important is to try to um, convey it, the right meaning in a sentence and to give a, a, clearer, a, a clearer idea of what you want to express. Lo importante también es a veces no hablar, bueno, es importante hablar rápido, no lo niego, es bueno, pero también es importante dar una idea clara, una idea clara. Entonces la fluidez tiene que ver también con dar el mensaje claro. Entonces, no, okay. solo, no solamente de ir corriendo, ¿verdad? sino también de tratar de dar la, la idea de una manera clara que se comprenda. Y eso le va a ayudar cuando ya, ya esté seguro y ya lo va haciendo más rápido. En cuestión de práctica también. Ah, se nos fue el perrito. No, es que tengo dos y se ponen a jugar cada noche. Ah. Vaya, mandé el de, el de super, Capital Super. Hey guys, welcome back. Did you finish? Yes, right? Yes. Awesome. So I know I knew it. you could do it. Okay, so we're going to continue, guys. Uh, we're going to uh, have some time in order to discuss this. You will see this is uh, really easy. So I just want you to get the idea of what it is. So we're going to talk about uh, the zero conditional. So the zero conditional basically is uh, about using the simple present. It's about or uh, talking about things that are true or uh, facts. Uh, look at this. I want you to keep in mind this uh, definition. Um, okay, so just hold on here. So it's used to talk about things that are always or generally true so that's the definition about it it is also used to talk about scientific facts so what is a scientific fact something that is uh true right something that you can prove so that is a scientific fact and uh, look at this we have the following structure you are going to need two clauses an if clause here so that is your if clause and a main clause. So guys, um, okay. So let me know if you can see that. Yes, can you see that? Yes. Okay. You alive? Yes, right. <laughs> okay. Um, so just keep in mind these two ideas. They used to talk about things that are true or things that you can prove. So, and you need two elements in this case. One, if clause. So this is your first element or part. And then you need a second part. So that could be a main clause. Example. So remember that we're talking about a situation and a result. So there is a condition 
and there is a result. So what is the condition? If it rains, the grass grows, okay? The condition is the rain. So if it rains mm -hmm. or when it rains, the grass grows. So that is the result, right, of this uh, situation. And um, another element that we can get from the pure conditional is that you can use either if or you can also use when. When it rains, the grass grows. Okay, cuando llueve, ¿qué pasa? Crece la grama. La grama crece. Crece la grama. Okay, y ahora, si llueve, ¿qué pasa? Crece la grama. Crece la grama. So what I want you to keep in mind is that the meaning is you can use either if or when. So if it rains, the grass grows. When it rains, the grass grows. So you have the main clause. Look at this. We have the opposite. So you can invert the order. So you have the main clause and then you have part, the second part, if clause, right? The grass grows if it rains. So you can invert, you can modify the order of these two clauses. Okay, so let's check um, something else. Uh, let me change the color and let's see. Okay. For the first example that we have, when it rains, the grass grows. When you have the first uh, clause, the if clause at the beginning, you need to place a comma in the middle, okay? When it rains, comma, the grass grows. So you need a comma, important. That's important, you need a comma. And when you start with the main clause at the beginning, main clause at the beginning, so there is not a comma needed here, okay? So the grass grow, uh, grows if it rains. The grass grows when it rains. So you don't need a comma. Okay, so let's check some more examples. We look at the structure. So we have a, how to form this zero conditional in different structure, affirmative, negative, and questions. Uh, help us with the first um, structure, Veronica Burgos, affirmative. If it's zero conditional, how to for it or oh, the first column? I don't know. Um, affirmative, affirmative form. Oh, okay. Affirmative form. Say in present plus if plus sentence in present. Example. My father gets angry if he lost his kids. Mm -hmm. Loses. If he loses his keys. Mm -hmm. So look at this. The affirmative forms, uh, it's asking me about a sentence in the present. My father gets angry, right? See, okay. in the present. Uh, plus an if clause. If he loses his keys. So plus a sentence in the simple present. Negative, help us with the negative, please. Um, let's see, Julio, help us with the negative. Here. Negative four, negative sentence. In present plus if plus negative sentence in present. My mother doesn't leave me go out with my friend. If I don't finish my homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a negative sentence. My mother doesn't let me go out with my friends. So you have your main, cl main clause plus an if clause if I don't finish my homework. Okay, question form help us with that one, please. Uh, Marlene, question interrogative sentences in present plus if. Plus affirmative sentences in present. Does your mother get angry if you come home very late? Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at this. What do you need for a question in simple present? You need an auxiliary verb, right? So does your mother 
So remember, you need an auxiliary verb, that's your mother, get angry. So it's the same structure as in simple present. So that's simple present. Uh, question, uh, and then you need um, if clause. Does your mother get angry if you come home very late? Of course, right? Yes, yeah, she, she gets very angry, okay? So now let's look at some um, examples. Uh, could you read it please, uh, Oscar? Yes, no question. Read the examples. Uh, example. Yes, no question. Do you do you cry when you are sad? Yes, I do. No, I don't. If okay. when if when your father comes, doesn't does he cook you up? Okay. Uh, yes, she, yes, he does. No, he does. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember that you can use either if or when, right? Uh, and we also have the double H questions. So could you read it, please? Let's see, lady, double H questions. What do you do if you have a problem? What do you do when you have a problem? If you have a problem, what do you do? Mm -hmm. When you have a problem, what do you do? Okay, so what do you do if you have a problem? What do you do if you're hungry? What do you do if you're late for the class? So what do you do if... Okay. So what do you do if you're sad? What do you do when you are sad, okay? Where does she go if she has a problem? Where do you go when you have a problem, okay? So let's look at some examples and we're going to uh, read, uh, well, we're going to read the structure. Okay, now uh, remember, if class, comma, main clause. If people eat too much, what happens if people eat too much? Ideas? If people eat too much? Question. Mm -hmm. So what could be my answer? Remember that you have to use simple present. If people eat too much, they get high cholesterol. Yes. <laughs> okay. They get cholesterol, right? <laughs> Tell us, <sure. laughs> High cholesterol. Okay. Okay. If you touch fire, what happened? If you touch fire, burn my hand. You burn, you burn your hand. Okay. If babies are hungry, they cry. They cry, right? Okay. I make some phone calls when complete that. I make phone calls when I have uh, time. When I have time, what else? <clears throat> When I need something. When you need something. Veronica? Uh huh. When I need something, um, Marlene said. Clelia, what do you when think? I, when I have a problem. When I have a problem. Okay, when I have a problem. Okay. So look at the following examples. Could you read it, please? Um, let's see. Nilton, read the example. Number one and two. Okay. When if she goes shopping, she buys expensive clothes. Okay. So look at the following examples. Uh, she goes, she buys. Remember that we're talking uh, 
in simple present. And you have third person singular. She goes, she buys. Ok, entonces okay, sería no. como digamos que una acción, pero tiene, o sea, creer cuando ella va a comprar, ella, no, cuando ella va de, de compras, eh, no, cuando ella va a shopping, ¿qué es? Hay una situación y hay un resultado. Cuando ah, ella va oh. de compra, ella, ¿qué compra? Ropa cara. Okay. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces eso es para el, prim, el zero conditional, va. Zero conditional. El primero es eh, presente con will. Ajá, o sea, el primero es, si yo tengo, haría esto, que sería como futuro, ¿va? Futuro. Uh -huh. Y este sería como... Cero. Eh... Ah, Para, okay. uh, ajá, when you want to talk about facts, scientific facts, or uh, things that are generally true. Cosas que ah, son okay. generalmente ciertas o hechos científicos. Algo ah, okay. que tenga alguna evidencia científica. Hoy sí comprendo, perfecto. Me había perdido. Awesome. Number uh, two. Could you read it, Nilton? Number two. Uh, two. When if we eat out, we go to a nice restaurant. Okay. Number three, uh, lady. When you take a test, you need a pen. Right. <laughs> okay. Four. When you are reading tardy, there are consequences. Yes. Right. Okay, number five, help us, eh, Julio. Five, number five. Uh, activate your microphone. Ah, okay, let's see, uh, could you help us, Miguel? Five and six. Five and six. Uh, if you drive, if you drive to pass, you get spinning ticket. Mm -hmm. um, when people get angry, they don't think correctly. Mm -hmm. If people get angry, they don't think correctly. True, right? Okay, uh, examples. Give me the right answer for this one. You have uh, the verbs in parentheses, and we have to fill in this space with the right form. It waters. Rich. What's the meaning for rich? Alcanzar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this the correct form? So what could be the right form for the verb rich? If water... Yes. This is a... 100 Celsius. Is a... Okay. Is this way correct? Is it correct? If water rich, si el agua alcanza. So, but my question is um, basically about the, the form of the verb. If water rich, is that correct? Mm, Reaching. Yeah. Reaching. Reaching. Reaches, uh-huh. 100 Celsius, it boil? Boiled. Boils, right? So keep in mind, you have third person, water, uh, uncountable noun. Remember, you have a good. It, yeah, uh, singular. Yeah. It boils. Okay. Okay. How about this one? Who wants to read it? If you. Okay. If you eat. If you eat. Eat. It right? Do do I need to modify the verb? Do I need to modify the verb? Yes or no? No. No, right? Because of. Yes. Look so at the pronoun. We have. Present. Okay, but you also have to check the pronoun if you eat. Mm -hmm. Remember, third person. She eats. Eat. 
okay? You eat. Okay. Uh, Blanca, help us with this one. If I'm tired, I... I go to bed. I'm going, I'm going to the bed. Press I go to the go go why go look at the pronoun go. Jorge. i go person goes mm, why go. goes no 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 i go eh? this is I not a, a person you go she goes he goes it goes Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to keep in mind that if the pronoun is a uh, third person, you modify the verb. If not, you leave the verb in the um, base okay. form or the infinitive. Right? Okay. Okay, look at this. If it negative is or doesn't. doesn't. If it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't rain, rain. rain this way, doesn't yes. rain. Mm -hmm. yes. plants don't grow. Awesome. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't rain, plants don't grow. Okay. What do you think about it? <laughs> if the dog Bikes, bikes. You the cat. The cat. Simple present. Aha, uh -huh. simple for the dog. Bark or barks? Barks. Mm -hmm. First. The dog barks. Okay. It scares the cat. So there yeah. you have the cat. It's angry. Okay. Oh. What do you think about this one, uh, Rafael, Nilton? You, let's see, Claudia, if she? Do we have to modify this? Yes, it's the yes. third person. It's the exercise. Okay, exercise. She right. feels better. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, if the weather is nice, I bike. I, I bike, bike to work. I bike to work. Okay, so you don't bike. need to modify the verb. So that's okay. Okay, and I think that was the last one. We're just going to finish with these examples and then we're gonna check uh, some exercises in the platform. If you, so what do you think about it? If you? Yellow and red, you get orange. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to, I don't want to tell you. So it could be the bird that we need here. Oh, no. Aha, uh -huh, but you need to do an action. So what is that es action? Como, es como revolver. To mix. Mix. To mix. Yellow and red, you get orange. Number yes. two. We need? We need rain. We need rain. 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 rain when it rains awesome rains right when it rains Rain. are three world okay number three if he studies yes. hard he take good marks he has so what happened when you study what do you obtain Giving you the answer, one answer. 
uh -huh. gets. You get, right? He gets, okay? He gets. Number four. Water. Water, water. So what ha what happened when you put something in the free uh, fridge, in the freezer? The freezer. Uh huh. So what's the verb for that what's thing? The mm -hmm. You get ice. Cold. Cold. Mm. Ice cream. No. Freezer, no. water, what? Melt. No. So that happened with the, with the sun. So this is the opposite. Okay. Water. Freezer. Freezes, ice, ice when you put in the freezer. Freezes, yes, right? Number five, if you. Hot. If you put water at. So how do you say calentar? Or you. Mm. Hot or hot. Right. Hot. If you heat water, it hot. boils. Si calentamos agua, ¿qué pasa? Air. It will be. The children. Are. Are. Okay. Could be possible. Are. Get. Hmm. Are get are dirty if they play with mud. Okay. With Seven. If she late, she arrives late to school. Remember that simple present includes verb to be. It's just stay late. It stays late. Okay. If she is late or she stays late. She arrives late to school. Si ella tarde, llega tarde. If you put eyes in the sun, it, Jorge, you got, you have it, or Oscar, you got it? Derretir. How do Melt. you say? Melts. Awesome. Number nine, you. Green, if you mix blue and yellow. Yo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Green if you mix. If you mix blue and yellow, you you get green. You get green. Awesome. If he if he runs fast, runs runs. runs. Mm -hmm. fast. He wins the race. He wins the race. He wins the race. Was it difficult? Joseph. Is it difficult, Nelton? Not oh, really. Uh, also, Jorge, excuse me. Mel. No, oh. no, no. Not really, right? It was very easy. Um, any question about it? When do we use, uh, guys, when do we use zero conditional? What do we express with zero conditional? Question, what do we express? Don't you remember what do we do? Something that is true, right? Something that is true and facts. Okay, so let's pass the tendency list. Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Ana Veronica Hernandez.
Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Luz Delgado. Present. Thank you. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Present, miss. Thank you. Okay. Julio Cesar Aguillón. Arrivalo. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Thank you, lady. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Nilton. Oscar René Molina. Present, please. Okay. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Present. Thank you. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Okay. Um, well, if you have questions about exercise, uh, well, about today's exercise, uh, don't go. Si tienen alguna duda de algún ejercicio, quédense para que lo veamos en la plataforma. Um, nada más, eh, aquí quería hacer una observación respecto a sus actividades. Um, hay algunas personitas que todavía me faltan que eh, alguna actividad de, bueno, el midterm. <coughs> Eh, me gustaría que vayan verificando que tengan completa la plataforma. Ahorita no tengo el dato exacto, pero verifiquen que tengan completas todas las actividades hasta el día de hoy. Si tienen actividades pendientes, verifiquemos. Y si nos ayuda en la actividad número 19. <ríe> sí, eso. Ok, solo déjeme ingresar ahorita, ya estoy ingresando. Sí, ahí, ahí también ya me he quedado trabajando. Por eso vamos a aplazarme. Y el tema de hoy, pero es que ahí sería la oración completa. Ah, sí, todo, completa ah, la oración. Es raro, son dos verbos. ¿sí? Correcto, como es cero condicional. Ajá. Entonces, es pero no sé si es. Hoy, pero ahorita no, vamos a revisar. Por cierto, eh, verifiquen su, nuevamente nada más sus, sus actividades. Um, por ejemplo, eh, hay algunas que ya le tienen de la semana 1, estamos bien, pero en la semana 2 solo hicieron el 6% en algunos casos verifiquen porque probablemente no se fijaron y se pasaron a la siguiente o no han avanzado en alguna solo verifiquen alguna si tienen alguna pendiente para que estén ahí eh, chévere porque mañana terminamos y pues después de mañana me parece que nos dan dos días nada más entonces para que puedan consultar con tiempo yo me quedo con una saliente Hola, perdón, dígame. Yo me quedo con algunas, teacher, que no he podido hacer. Ok, pongámonos ahí en, de acuerdo para revisarla. Ok. Uh -huh. O me escribe un mensajito para que la vayamos revisando. Vamos a hacer el club de tareas. Los niños. <risa> Está bien. <risa> Y en la 18 me he quedado, tiche. Igual, ahí estamos patinando. Yo creo que es nadie. Sí, sí es el anterior. Es el anterior. En la 18 le tienen que ir poniendo el verbo en, con el INE. Sí, Ajá, solo el verbo. Es el gerundio. Solo mi palabra, no es la no Ajá, oración. Solamente el si giving, paying, having, eating y providing. providing. Entonces, Pero en la 19 no la 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 sí estoy que no hay que, que poner ahí. Gracias, Elena. Que Elena nos escribió un mensajito por ahí. En la 18, veamos la 18. Ok, acá, complete the conversations with the general forms of the verbs. Do we start? Ah, ok. Uh, actually, this is the exercise that we did today, Veronica. Mm -hmm. uh, solo el verbo. Yo escribiendo toda la oración estaba, teacher, con la saliente. No. Mm -hmm, just the verb. Oh, so easy. Yo también empecé escribiendo toda la oración. Se me iluminó viendo el mandato. <laughs> okay. Okay, so look at this. We have one example. 
<laughs> if it's, I wake up late, uh, um, okay, okay. I'm get a little bit bigger for you. If I wake up late, I am late, yes, for work. Number two, let's do it. Number two, my son. Yes, ideas. Let's I do it together. Burns. The food is fee. Food. Is fee. Cook. Is fee. Cook. Is fee. Cook. Cook. Along. Cook. Cook. Along. So let's check it. Ponga la primera como I am late. Mm -hmm. ah, I am. Yes, remember that you can use verb to be. Verb to be belongs to simple present as well as the other verbs. También el verbo to be va incluido dentro de ese presente simple. Okay, if employees Yes, if employees negative That's it. Employees. Um, don't eat. Ah, uh, don't don't eat. Uh -huh. Aha. Awesome. Don't eat. Coma. Well. well. Coma. They. They don't. They don't. They are not. We're not. Mm -hmm. Are not. Are not healthy. Okay, period. So let's check it. Hmm. Serious. Aren't. Aren't. Probably, yes. So let's try with that. Yes, awesome. Very good. Mm -hmm. If employees don't eat well, they are, aren't healthy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Could somebody help me with this one, number four? If she? ¿Qué pasa? Estoy haciendo esto. No, 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 no. What do you think, Nilton, Oscar, lady, um, guys? If she? If she? Face. 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 on time. She doesn't have to pay extra money. Extra money. Okay. Again. Sí, creo que por la coma. The space, I mean, right? Uh -huh. Okay. <coughs> for, uh, number five. Ask her ideas if the income is the incomes are are okay. The incomes are good. Come on. An employee. Receive, 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 receives the bonus. Well done, very good. Okay, so now you uh, have to do it. Include the tarea. Muy rápido. Is she pays your views on time? Let's see, number four. 
Uh -huh. She pays her bills on time. She doesn't have to pay extra money. Have, have <laughs> no, you don't have a B in that one. She pays him. Aren't. Where? Here, number four? No. Mm -hmm. If she pays her bills on time, she doesn't have to pay extra money. Como, como, como dijo, Miss? Aren't, aren't, or don't, or, or, or doesn't. Okay, look at the verb that you have here. Veamos el verbo que tiene ahí. ¿Es el mm -hmm. to be o es otro? No, ¿Sí es hate. El... Hate. ¿Cuál? Ah, no, acá, acá no. Acá solo le está pidiendo la forma negativa. Pace. Cuando le pone el not, le pide una negativa. Y si acá fuera el, el verbo to be, tendríamos que hacerlo con el verbo to be. Pero acá tenemos otro verbo que no es el to be. She, o sea, dice, if she pays her bills on time, si paga los recibos a tiempo, ¿qué pasa? She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Pay extra money. Por ejemplo, en la de arriba, en la de arriba, sí. If employees, bueno, este tenemos el verbo eat y la negativa, no está pidiendo la negativa. Don't eat. Well, they, y acá nos pide el to be. They are, aren't healthy. Ok. Questions. Dígame, chicos, si hay preguntas. Los noto un poco preguntas. Cinco sería receiving o receive. Ah, uh, siempre en presente simple. Receives. Receives. A bonus. Okay. Uh -huh. Solamente recuerde que tiene que hacer match con el pronombre. Employee, singular. Entonces tengo que agregarle ese al verbo. On employee to receive a bonus. Receives, uh -huh. You have to add S. Receives a bonus. Um, no salió mal. <laughs> <laughs> Debe ser algún, algún este. Miss, oh, la tres, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es? La tres, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Three. If employees, let me write it. Employees, okay. Don't eat. Healthy. Uh, don't eat well. Not well, comma. They aren't. Healthy. Ok, si los empleados no comen bien, no están saludables. Vamos a reponer los minutos que debíamos. El, sí, verbo, el verbo, el, el último verbo de la cinco, receive. receive. Ah, receives. Acá, acá esto solamente le va a agregar una S. Ah, sí, ah, es que me como una E, entonces, por eso es que me. Receives. Receives. Ya no teniendo mucha vergüenza. Hoy sí, ya. Me comía, me comía una E. Gracias, Tiche. Okay, Miguel. Teacher, y no puede poner la, 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 la dos así como puso esa una. A mí siempre okay, me sale. So let's check it. Okay, ¿cómo nos quedaría ahí? My son. Uh -huh. My son burns. Burns. The food. The food. If he. If he. Tercera persona. ¿Cómo, no, cómo va el verbo ahí? Cook o cooks. 
Cook. Uh -huh. Cook. Recuerden que este condicional cero, eh, las dos cláusulas van en, en presente simple. En presente simple. Ok, miren, aquí tenemos la main clause y aquí tenemos la if clause. O sea, ahí hay dos cláusulas. Esto lo vamos a cerrar en cajitas para que ustedes lo vean ahí mejor. Okay. Main clause. Y acá, if clause. Ok. ¿Qué aspectos tomamos en cuenta? ¿Qué tiempos utilizamos? Simple present. Plus. ¿Qué más? Simple present. Vean ahí las dos cajitas y vean ahí también qué tiempos utilizamos. Entonces podría ser ahí. Eh, vamos. Esa de. Ok. If the incomes are good, coma. An employee receives a bonus. Otra vez. ¿Cuál es la cláusula principal ahí? La cláusula, eh, la main clause, quiere decir una oración. Cláusula es una oración. ¿Cuál es mi main clause? ¿Cuál sería la main clause ahí? If the incomes are good. Ok, that is the if clause. Esa sería esta, la if. ¿Eh? An employee. Ajá, un empleado recibe un bono. Pero, ¿qué pasa con eso? Ahora necesitamos, eh, bueno, marcamos acá la otra cláusula. If clause. Tiene que ser buen trabajador para recibir un bono. Main clause. If clause. Entonces lo que les quiero mostrar ahí es que puede, alterne, puede cambiar el orden. Puede empezar con una main clause, luego va la if clause o puede ser al revés. Si empezamos con la if clause, ponemos una coma aquí en medio. ¿no? Acá. Si ¿Sí se ve la coma ahí. If the incomes are good, an employee receives a bonus. Entonces, básicamente son dos oraciones en presente simple. Noten ahí también que pueden utilizar el verbo to be. No solamente... Eh, los otros verbos. And remember that we express things that are true or scientific facts. Miren, cosas que son ciertas o hechos científicos. Ok. Questions. Preguntas, chicos, ahí. También. Ajá. Una. Dime, Carlos. La primera no me sale a mí. La primera. Ajá. Veamos la primera. Ahí decía okay. que sí. Aquí hay, hay algo escondido ahí después de ley. No, hay algo ver el punto no tiene punto de ahí. el espacio de la coma verifique ahí el espacio de la coma ah, ok otra cosa que les mencionaba era lo siguiente miren chicos es que por ejemplo acá si ustedes tienen el eh, vamos a dividir los pronombres siempre. I, you, we, they. Ok. 
Okay. That's a base form or bare form. I don't want to put a bare form. La bare form is es, es solamente, es solamente el verbo sin el tú. Entonces, if I born, if you born, if we born, if they born. Ahora vamos con nosotros, tercera persona. Dice it. Borns. Tengo que agregarle ahí esa S a los verbos. Aquí me. Ok, vean, veamos. Preguntas, chicos. Eh, Blanca, no sé, preguntas. Rosa, el Lady, Jorge. Sí, ya se puede ir a venir. <ríe> sí, es verdad. Sí, porque ya seguimos hasta las 11. A las 12 de Bye, bye Miss. Bye, bye, lady. Ok. Bye, classmates. Bye. Bye. Yo estoy atrasada con algunas tareas, pero voy a tratar de ponerme al día. Por cualquier cosa le escribo, Miss. Me parece bien, Rosa. Ok. Bueno, bye. Ok. Bien, ya todos se van a dormir. Oscar. Bye, bye. bye. Bye bye Rosa, Oscar y Blanca, preguntas chicos. No, yo creo que ya está, ya me salió la otra. Ok. Perfecto. Bye bye. Los demás creo que se han quedado porque. <ríe> dos, dos no me, no me salen, pero voy a en el día voy a. ¿Cuál no le sale? ¿Cuál no le sale? Me sale la permítanme. La no la tres, cuatro y cinco. La 3, 4 y 5. Muy bien, veamos. Aquí la vamos a ir contestando. Acá tenemos que utilizar una oración negativa en presente siempre. If employees, auxiliar, eh, ahí contraído, don't eat. Una oración negativa. Employees don't, don't eat well. They, y aquí la contracción, aren healthy. Eso se nos quedaría en la 3. If employees don't eat well, they aren't healthy. Así la tengo, pero no. Puede ser la coma. Eh, verifique si es... Ah, solamente que tiene que escribir la oración completa. ¿La ha ingresado todo? Y sí, esta es completa. Ah, pues puede ser algún punto o el apóstrofe. El espacio. Ajá, un espacio. Uh -huh. Voy a revisarlo en el día. Y, y la otra tengo, la cuatro tengo, is she pays her bill. Ajá, y aquí necesitamos al auxiliar das, y contraído y con la negación. She doesn't have to pay extra money. She doesn't have to Uh -huh. Sí, igual lo tengo, lo tengo igual, solo tal vez espacio, pienso yo que en algo sí. está. Ah. Solo un espacio debe de ser o alguna, verifique, puede ser alguna letra. En las cinco tengo, if the incomes are good, are good, uh -huh. coma, sí. Um, aquí se me falta la onda. Ajá, una letra, una letra, entonces. Recibes abonos. Uh -huh. Punto. Ahí estamos bien. Uh -huh. Solamente. Entonces, solo voy a revisarla en el día para, para decirme un espacio. Ah, puede ser una letra. Yo creo que es una letra o un espacio. Voy a revisarlo bien. Ajá. Gracias. Pero solamente eso, es Blanca. Ok. De acuerdo, Blanca. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Gracias. Blanca. Gracias. Buenas noches.